Hello! As you see, I have some food on a pool this way. And if we look on the pool this way, we got an entire gallon of my favorite drink. Obviously, you can't eat without drinking. Oh. So let's get started. Oh. I hate that they put this little thing on it. It's like a little thing to to get in the way of me. Which kind of pisses me off. So we're going to go ahead and throw that away. Oh, God. I doth not have a chaser. Oh. I think it'll just be better like this. <sighs> Don't do what I do. So I would like to take this time to talk about mental health. Now for me, I was put in a psychotic ward four different times within a few months. Um, so I would say that I'm pretty qualified to uh, talk about this. Mental health. Health for your mental. I think it's all complete bullshit. I think it's a trigger word is what it is. Now, I meant to say, it's a little inappropriate to be drinking and talking about mental health at the same time, but uh, I want to be 100% open and honest with what uh, we're gonna dive deep inside to today. So to keep your mental healthy, you gotta read. You gotta, like, it's not, like a lot of people read to like enhance their vocabulary or something, but it's literally like in what a human needs. Like the only reason why we got this far in society is because we, we go ahead and we read. We said, this is how we built the pyramid. So we're going to go ahead and write it down so the next generation can go ahead and take that information and move on to the next endeavors, i.e. buildings. In this, like, psychotic ward type thing that I was in, <laughs> there were some fucked up individuals in there. Like, they were fucking out there. Like, I thought I, thought I was a little fucked up. I mean, they were... They were on something else, but um, their main thing in there was pressing on keeping, keep on taking medication. Make sure just that, that there was no, um, there was no other thing than that to really help you was just to take the fucking medication. And what really scared me um, was that I was taking the medication and I was like, this is stupid. This is like a sugar pill. It doesn't even do anything. And, um, until I realized that, like, I lost, like, a huge part of who I was. I wasn't as driven. I wasn't, I wasn't me. I wasn't energetic. I wasn't, I wasn't, um, uh, a lot of the good parts of that I liked about me. I wasn't them anymore. And then once I realized that, I was like, oh my God, yeah, it does do a lot to me. I thought it was, I thought it was, I thought it was like fucking taking ibuprofen. I thought it didn't do anything, but like this fucking pill that I was taking that they were giving to me was like completely changing who I was and it's just like I only get say like a hundred years on this planet why the fuck am I letting someone else tell me what to do and literally in the psychotic ward like when I would take the medication I would just put it under my tongue and then drink the water and then flush it later on but like I said mental health is literally just a trigger word. It's just um, like a topic that like people like to talk about. Other than that, it's like, um, yeah, you've seen them. There's like crazy people out there that are literally screaming, like running around and like shitting on themselves and, and doing that shit. Like if you haven't lived in LA, then maybe you don't know. But yeah, there's, there's that kind of crazy. That's literally like their brain like, maybe they're not evolved, or maybe their brain's just fucked up. And then there's that part of it. For people who, like Kanye West, how how he 
um, fell into that category of having a manic episode. They said I had a manic episode and he's bipolar. They said I was bipolar and all that shit. Like, he's just a normal person who knows how to express himself. Um, and it's, it's kind of sad that we, we take people like that who have a lot extra inside of them and then we label them with having mental issues which is complete bullshit like it's not it's not it's not real but uh goodbye